you know, with yet another mass shooting taking place today, no matter how far away, one Lee Summit parent we spoke with says as soon as he got that letter from the school today, that is immediately where his mind went, and it was terrifying. I was thinking about the San Bernardino shootings and just thinking, wow, that could be happening here right now. And I thought of all the other shootings that have taken place in schools and thought we could have just averted something really big. Todd Nord is the parent of a student at Lee Summit High School, one of many to receive this email explaining that a Lee Summit High School student reached out to a staff member Monday afternoon admitting that they had created a list entitled People I Want to Kill. It seems like they've got somewhat of a conscience and they were trying to get some help maybe. The Lee Summit Police Department is working closely with the school on this investigation and says the student has been removed from school and parents were contacted for every student on the list. The school now telling parents they do not believe there is any danger for their children to attend classes. The teachers met with the uh, police officers and did everything they could up to this point. Um, there's not much more you can do. We have already officers that roam the schools. Um, some schools have metal detectors. Um, we, uh, what more can be done? Now, Mr. Nord, that parent that we spoke with, says that he does absolutely everything he possibly can to keep his son safe, but he says it really takes a village, parents, teachers, and the community working together. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News. If you would like to see that letter sent to Lee Summit High School parents, go to our website, KMBC.com.